we haven't had any new products in the last 15 to 20 years. We're, we're reusing products we've been using all those years. The reason we're losing ground is because of overuse. Not overuse necessarily, but overuse over time. I think there are several different ways they can have errors, right? They can use a product too long. They can use a product not long enough so that you're shortchanging the efficiency of that product. So they, they might be rotating between monovalence or polyvalent ionophores. If you look at the monovalence, then you're talking about things like biocox, selenomycin, and uh, coban, which are very similar monovalents. Then if you talk about lysalicid sodium, then you're talking about a polyvalent. So, so there's a difference between those two groups. So when you're rotating, what you want to do again is let the organisms see something different. And if you do that, then, uh, then you generally Im improve the efficiency and, uh, and help the economics of, of what you're doing. What we've learned over the years with, with uh, chemicals is that they're super efficient, but when they do give way in resistance, then they give way almost totally. So, so generally what we think about when we think about using them are, are short-term uses. If you break one, that is, if you let the resistance develop fully, then it's a long time before you get sensitivity back. Vaccines are another part of the, of the control programs. There are maybe 60% uh, of the broilers in the U.S. in the summer period would be on a vaccine, and that's developed over the last uh, four or five years. So uh, one, of the, one of the good things about that is vaccines are known historically to, uh, to increase susceptibility of, of the organisms to other products. If you rotate onto, onto a vaccine, then you come back to perhaps an ionophore that generally makes the ionophore much more efficient.